What's up world? My name is James Taylor. I'm a rehab addict. Most people know that. A lot of people don't know is that I'm a collector. I don't know any other collector, so I don't know if my collection is great or if it's crap or whatever. But I would like to share it with you today. I'm only going with CDs today because I have a lot of stuff and I'm just going with the CD collection. So let's get into it. All right. First thing I have here is to whom it makes it soon. Of course, you know, this is the first rehab CD. And on the inside, it's signed by Steak Knife and Danny Boone. You got that, JT? Yes, sir. And uh, I haven't had the privilege of meeting Brooks Buford yet. Hopefully one day that'll happen. All right. See, this isn't really any kind of order. I kind of put them in order, but it's not really just whatever it is. I'm missing a few things that I had that I can't find. Like my original... Uh, Southern Discomfort. I don't know where that is. I had that signed by Mike Hartman, Danny Boone, and uh, Steak Knife, but I bought this one to replace it. Oh, I forgot something. Be right back. Oh, I was getting the flyer in there while you're doing that. Zooming in on the flyer. The sample this, which is the uh, promo CD for uh, Southern Discomfort. This one is signed by Danny Boone on the inside. This is the blue one. And I also have, which is signed by Danny Boone on the front of this one, the green one. Really cool. Cool stuff there. I bought this one really cheap. Paid a lot for this one, but I had to have it. Ah, let's see, going with uh, Southern Discomfort, we have the It Don't Matter CD single. This one is just the one track, which has the clean version and the album version, which I really don't know if there's any difference to that. This one is signed as well. No, this one is not signed. I have two of those. I have a signed one somewhere else. I have the Australian version. No, this is not the Australian version. I don't know what I'm doing. This is another single, but it's the non-rap version with an intro. All right. This one is the non-rap version. This one is the non-rap version one track. This one is the non-rap version that has with or without the intro. And these, this one's signed by Danny Boone. This one is signed by Danny Boone as well. Uh, and I have another one, which is signed by Mike Hartman and Dale Boone. I'm missing, I'm missing one. I'm missing the Australian one. Well, I have the Australian version as well. It has four tracks and has the uh, lounge style of uh, running for an ear hole, which is a really good one there. And I also have this here, which is the only one I've ever seen in consistent is the cassette for Southern Discomfort, which is signed by Steak Knife and Danny Boone. Cool stuff there. Uh, let's see where we're going now. Got uh, Cause We Can. Great, great album. Signed by Danny Boone. Again, I've never met Burks Buford, or I would have his signature on there as well, if he was so kind to give it to me. Uh, we got Graffiti the World. This is the original 2005 version of Repeated World, signed by the entire band. Not Chris Crisis, because he wasn't with them at the time. Alright, uh, this I like to call Graffiti of the World 2005.5. This one, Hondo Leathers told me that there was only like 4,000 of these. This one is the exact same one as the 2006 version, but has all of the old artwork from the 2005 version. It has the 13th track, but it's not listed anywhere. Really cool. I love that one. It's 2006 version. I have one of these signed by the entire band, but it's one of the ones that I can't locate right now. Uh, and, of course, there's the 2008. I have that one signed by the band. Really cool. Uh, where are we at now? Got uh, Bartender Song. 
aka Sitting at a Bar, DJ City promo, signed by the entire band. It's actually signed by Danny Boone right there, but he signed it with a black sharpie, and you can only look at it in the light and see it. But it's there. Uh, bartender song, I have the DVD of the video featuring Hank Williams Jr. That's really cool. Came across that one. Had to pick that up. Uh, let's see what else we got. I need to take a drag off the second red hair. The single for Bump. I don't know if you heard that. That was my text messaging, but you know, whatever. <laughs> single for Bump is really cool. It just has the uh, clean in the album version, which has like one word taken out, signed by the entire band. Which is unfortunate they're not together, but you know, that's what it is. Uh, I've got a single for Chest Pain that has a remix of Bump on it. That's signed by the entire band. It's got a little album of uh, artwork on the back there. It's cool. Uh, let's see here. We've got the single for Last Tattoo. It's got the radio edit and the album version. This is, uh, I was told by Rico Bobby that this is uh, the test pressing. It's got, you know, the disc and a little insert in the front there. Uh, let's see. I've got a, another Last Tattoo. This one is one of my favorites due to the fact that I saw this somewhere and I looked all over the place. This one is signed by everyone as well. Um, I could not find this anywhere. I, I've had this so long that I actually sent a MySpace message to Hondo Leathers. And he actually brought this to me at a show in Columbia, South Carolina and just gave it to me. And that's just really awesome that he would even do that. So therefore, this is, I had a lot of love for this disc right here. Where are we at here? I've got 1980, Universal Republic Press, with the Elton John uh, request, signed by the entire band. Really cool. I've uh, got another 1980, which is the exact disc as that one, but this one has artwork on the front and back, on the disc and all. That's signed by the entire band as well. It's a good one. I haven't really seen but one or two of these. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, I have the uh, another last tattoo. This is the Universal Republic release. The one suit. Just got just the one track on it. Signed by the entire band, as they used to be. Uh, we're at moving right along here. We've got really really cool CD here. Is the uh, live and acoustic. This one has an interesting story to it. As uh, I've got the entire band has signed it. But right here, I don't know if you can see it. It's signed at the top there on the spine. It says Chuck the Farm. I noticed that after I got home that it said that on there. And at the very next show, I asked Hanu. I said, um, dude, you signed my CD, Chuck the Farm. What's that all about? And he said, uh, actually, his funny story was he was in the middle of talking to a friend of his named Chuck the Farm. When I walked up and asked him to sign it, he said he was so out of it, he just wrote Chuck the Farm's name on it. He said he could sign it again, but I was like, no, that's a really cool story. He actually happened to be talking to Chuck the Farm at that time as well. And I got a picture with me and the CD and Hano and Chuck the Farm. It's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, what else we got here? We got the, uh, the fixed tape, 13. Very, very awesome CD. This one is signed. Actually, the disc is signed by everyone. And also, you can see this on my Facebook page and all. I don't know if you can see it right there in the bottom corner. Can you see the picture of me and Danny Boone there, bro? A little blurry. Can you back it up a little bit? A little lower? No, I can't see Well, anyway, if you have the CD, you can look at it and you can see in the bottom left-hand corner is me and Danny Boone. But oh, actually, yep, now you can see it. Actually, we're sitting at the bar. This picture was taken at the boathouse at this show right here. If you can see this flyer right here at this show in 2006. That's cool stuff. What else we got here? We've got some more. So I've got Welcome Home, signed by everybody in the band. A lot of people diss this album, but it's a great album, man. It's like, you know, you just you can't compare with anything else. It's like Friday and Next Friday. They are both awesome, awesome flicks. But, you know, you can't compare one to the other. True that. Uh, and I have the CD single for Welcome Home. 
This is really cool. He's got that there, and uh, Danny has said in interviews before that that really is him on the back right there when he was a child. That's signed by everyone in the band. I actually had this uh, signed backstage in Atlanta. That was cool. I met Yellow Wolf at that show. It was great. Didn't know who you he was. Show the back again. So I didn't uh, get any photos or anything. But that's that. Yep. All right, and of course got Gullible's Travels. Great CD. No signatures on that one, but still a great CD. You get there. Um. Have here. Uh, let's go with the uh, rehab release. Oh, here it is. This is the Australian version of the it Don't Matter Singing single. single. Four tracks on it and all that. Is this, is this still going? Still recording? Yeah, still recording. Yeah. Uh, oh, I forgot this one too. The single for Storm Chaser. It's really cool. It's got the instrumentals and stuff on it. It's really cool to go back and listen to that kind of stuff. This one's signed by Danny Boone. Of course, not by Brooks Buford because I've never met him. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, we're going to go with rehab-related albums and such. I have uh, Brooks Buford's Aim to Please. That's really cool. I prefer the version that's on the album over this one, but, but this one is pretty good because it's got Sean Paul in it. Uh, Again, never met him. Brooks Buford's Straight Outta Rehab. This is a very rare CD. I'm glad I have that. Uh, going ahead with that, I have a CD single for Trailer Fabulous. It has three different mixes on it, and it's an enhanced CD. It has a video on it as well for Trailer Fabulous. I also have the Straight Out of Rehab album sampler. Good stuff there. Uh, keeping with the Brooks Buford, I've got the Something Serious Audio Club CD single. I bought this. There were a couple available. I have not seen another one since, but it's pretty cool to have. Uh, let's see, I got Demon Jones. I have Demon Jones 10. Awesome, awesome stuff there. I also have Demon Jones Light, but I don't know exactly where it's at right now. Uh, this is also Demon Jones 10. This is the original version that he sold at the shows. It's just very, very hard to find. Just the disc looks like a record. I've talked to a few people that have this, but this is a good one. I also had the unreleased cuts, the two CD set. The, the discs look like that, but someone sold them out of my truck. And uh, so I'm upset about that. Uh, what else? We only have a few here left. Uh, yeah. Crazy Anglos? I'm getting there, son. Let me do this. Suggestions? I got the Moonshine Bandits Prohibition. It's got the song Moonshine. Featuring Danny Boone. This one is signed by Danny Boone as well. Good stuff. Uh, Mandorico. Mandorico Flam Tam. This is, uh, in my opinion, not a great CD. I don't really care for the entire CD, but track two is Second Thought, which features Danny Boone. He just straight crushes it. Awesome. It actually has this one signed by Danny Boone. He uh, spits the same verse from, uh, from Guilty. He spits that verse in there, but, you know, really nasty. Uh, let's see. We've got the New Guy soundtrack. Features the song So Dizzy. Great song. Great movie as well. This one's signed by Danny Boone on the inside. Uh, Blue Streak, the album. Features the song Give Me My Money. Great song. It's the only place that I know of that that song has appeared. This one is also signed by Danny Boone on the inside. And we've got Crazy Anglos, Fight the System. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome CD. If you've never heard this, you need to find a torrent and download it because this, the whole CD is beautiful. The last track on it is uh, Chosen. It features Danny Boone and uh, Demon Jones. Uh, Crazy Anglos, awesome band, awesome live show. I mean, one of the greatest that I've ever had the privilege of enjoying. They are no longer together, which is a shame. Uh, if you don't know the Crazy Anglos, uh, the band Almost Kings is made up with most of the members from Crazy Anglos, but uh, Crazy Anglos, they, they did the damn thing. This CD is impossible to find. I'm so fortunate to have this. I bought this at, I think it was the last Crazy Anglos show that I saw. I bought this and it is like totally does not exist anymore. Same with this one here. This one isn't rehab related or anything, but uh, 
That's a crazy Anglo's. It's signed by, uh, I actually got it signed at an Almost King show, so it only has Bose, D Shed, and Kevin Compton signatures on it. What is that? Huh? What is that? What is what? That CD right there. It's the Reverb Nation CD. Crazy Anglo's. Wow. The, um, also, this, this Crazy Anglo CD is signed by everyone except for uh, Johnny O'Leary because he didn't come out. Actually, no, I bought this at a show. It was the when I saw three rehab shows in one week. I bought this one in Charleston and got it signed in Myrtle Beach. But Johnny O'Leary didn't come out after the show, and I never saw another Anglo show. And uh, so that's it. That's what I got for you right now. Um, hope you like it. If not, sorry. Please leave comments. Let me know what you think, good or bad. And uh, also, I challenge anybody that has a rehab collection to post it up, man. Let me see what you got. Rock out, man. Rehab for life. Peace.